Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from InfraRest. Hope you're all doing well. I want to talk about this interesting article, which I'll put in the description for you to read up on it. But it basically talks about the commercial real estate market and how a lot of commercial properties, commercial property owners are under a lot of stress. And um, the title of this article, it comes out from therealdeal.com, basically says, CRE's distress moment is here. Um, and when I scroll down, it says, distress is stressing out the real estate investors and last week didn't help. Columbia Property Trust, a large office landlord controlled by PIMCO, has defaulted on $1.7 billion in loans tied to seven buildings across the country, marking one of its largest defaults since the start of the pandemic. In Los Angeles, Brookfield walked away from $784 million in loans connected to two of the firm's trophy office towers in downtown Los Angeles. And if you scroll down more, there's more stories saying that in New York, Cyrus and Darius Sakai's sovereign partners struck a deal with Pearlmark Real Estate to buy Tower 56 office building at 126 East 56th Street in Plaza District for about $110 million. Now, Pearlmark couldn't refinance its mortgage on the property, which led to this sale roughly to basically what it owes on its debt. It's one of the first big four sales to hit New York office market, a trend may, many expect to grow this year as owners have trouble refinancing loans to come due. And this article goes through even more examples, uh, talking about other big properties, um, areas in Miami and so on. You could read up on it and, and see more uh, in that article. But this is a very good example right, where you're starting to see the stress start to pick in, start to come in and basically affect a lot of these uh, property owners, affect a lot of people who have a lot of loan and debt, and especially the commercial side of things. Now, could this be an event like a black swan event where this trickles and if the Fed continues to hike rates, I did a video video just yesterday talking about the Fed potentially hiking to 6% or even higher, especially if the Fed decides to follow this Taylor rule method, right? Where, where rates are above the inflation rate. And right now, inflation rate in the US is around 6.4%. So that means rates need to be above that. Now, if inflation comes down, let's say to 6 or, you know, 5.9%, 5.8, that still doesn't rule out that, you know, we still can see uh, interest rates still go above that level, um, especially if inflation still is not coming down to their target, which is a 2% target. So we have seen for decade long, low interest rate environment. And all of a sudden we got, because of the pandemic, because of all the supply chain issues uh, that led to higher inflation, you are getting a reaction from the Fed and a lot of central banks to raise rates aggressively, which is causing real problems in certain areas and certain markets, especially the commercial real estate side. And we heard news about this from BlackRock, from other big asset management companies, where they were also under a lot of problem, where they were halting the withdrawals of their investors and basically their high net worth investors couldn't take out their money in certain funds because there were so many of them. And yet, when you look at the demand side of real estate and, and assets and out there, there's not much demand. And if you have big properties that, you know, you're not selling them for, for a small amount. These are in the millions and millions of dollars. It's not easy to sell out and find a lot of buyers, especially when you have rates at very high elevated levels. So it makes me think going forward, if rates continue to move up higher, then definitely you're going to hear more stories like the ones that I just talked about. And definitely you're going to hear more pains from a lot of these asset management and private equity firms, which makes you think that could this black swan event, could a big melt, um, you know, a melt up scenario where you had the equity markets go up and everything looks fine until 
Fed decides that they want to raise rates more aggressively and then completely explode, completely plunge. And that explosion could come from the private equity area, from the private markets, from Blackstone, from maybe uh, these commercial real estate. We don't know exactly. No one can really predict. I don't have a, a crystal ball that can predict these things. But definitely these are signs, telling signs, that more pain is to come, especially this is just the beginning of 2023, and especially we have yet to see interest rates. All the hike and the interest rates that we saw last year, we have yet to see the true pain of that this year. And if rates continue to move up, which they're expected to, to 5.5%, and they don't stop there, guess what? If we're feeling the pain right now already from 2022's interest rate hikes, what will it look like a year from now, especially in 2024? Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified on the next video. And I'll see you guys around. Cheers. Bye.